Hello, I'm making this video about um, some changes I've made to my son's bug out bag, his emergency bag, and a huge problem I'm having right now is that I cannot get everything to fit into that bag or be light enough for him to carry for any amount of, you know, reasonable time um, for if he had to walk for a while, he wouldn't, I don't know if. He would definitely be dumping stuff. Um, so let me go through it first. I uh, hope you can see okay. I'm kind of at a weird angle here because I'm trying to show everything. Um, get down. I don't know if you can hear my dog. Go, go lay down. Okay. So, and I've changed some stuff from it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna go through is the the like main main parts of it. So it, before he had a little pot, mm, I put it away, but it was just a little pot of a frying pan with a handle, and um, it was good, but I think it wasn't it, it's not sturdy enough for him. So. Let me take this microphone and put it around here better. Okay, so I don't think it was sturdy enough for him, and this is this is easier, smaller, more compact, and uh, well, with the other one I also had a kit, and then I had to try to kind of kind of try to figure out what to do with that kit afterwards. So anyway. And I have this in here. So it's just a little stainless steel cup with its lid. And and I got this one because it I it can nest the um, clean canteen 40 ounce bottle that we have. Stainless steel bottle. But I have this um, in here there is sugar, there is salt, some granola, a little bit of granola, and I think I'm going to add more granola in here, like maybe another one, um, and there are some mint tea bags, I will probably replace those with some lemon zinger, um, or something else like that, uh, what else, uh, there's a, a teaspoon, a measure, measuring teaspoon and I will probably try to get a folding spoon to put in here a folding spork if they have that I haven't really looked for it yet that's just a teaspoon so he could measure out stuff if he needed to and it's just in this these containers are awesome I I didn't like this ice cream or gelato I didn't like it. It tastes a lot like milk. I don't like milk. If you like milk, you'll love this. But I, the taste of actual milk, it, it's got to be like extremely masked for me to like it. But for me to like ice cream or something, it cannot taste milky. Anyway, this is super milky stuff. Um, and I didn't expect that. It was chocolate. It tasted like milk. Okay, so I have this right now and um gonna put some hot chocolate in here in a minute so it goes in here fits perfect and I still have room sorry about that that was loud I still have room if you can see there's room around um, the edge right here to fit stuff but I don't think I will because then I wouldn't be able to pull this out but there's still room in there. Anyway, it comes out easily, so that's good. Okay, cooking. Along with that, so here he could boil his water, um, make his ramen noodles. I have the water filter here. Um, and I got a, oh, I forget what this is called all the time. I have to pull it out. A Sawyer Mini. 
Um, we got the Sawyer Mini. We haven't tried it, but it's ready to go. We washed it, flushed it out, and did all that. And I have that in here. There's the filter, the straw, and the little syringe thing. The plunger. Okay. So that's in here. And I do plan to get better bags something clear and waterproof for everything but these are these are neat little canvas bags i used to use them for sandwiches but i don't anymore okay so that's for cooking water cooking and water um and here is his knife this little knife is so awesome uh i forget what the other one is called that we have it's also mora and i don't remember the name of it but this is so nice such a cool little knife it's so the handle is so much it just feels good in your hand and it has this this thing i don't know what these are called right here but for his hand this is great because it's nice and long so protects his hand better than the other one we had and also going out backwards so if the knife is stuck somewhere and he you know he's got this little stopper right there and here and it's just an awesome little knife um we just got this uh a few days ago and i took the other one out of his bag i wish this would have been orange too the other one's the bright orange but I mean, this is fine. We could always put some orange duct tape or something on it to make it more visible. I have to move the camera for one second. Get my dog out of here. Okay. Then, let's see. I'll go through fire right now. Okay. Let me do first aid. This is very bulky. This is part of my problem right now. This thing is huge. And it's not waterproof, so I definitely need something better. But here's our first aid kit. And there's just basic bandages, um, like uh, gauze. There is alcohol pads, sting relief pads the disinfectant towelettes more alcohol prep pads that i've put in there myself it has some scissors some tweezers down there i don't know if you can see that um it has gauze bandages the tape it's underneath the pad i said scissors already some cotton i put in here um gloves and it had and i put these in here so there are like uh, six pair of latex gloves in here um and they might yeah they are latex i did get the latex ones but anyway so that's our first aid kit i'm not happy with the bag but this is what we have right now I need to get a waterproof, maybe clear bag that's strong, or even if it's not clear, but just that it's waterproof and not. I kind of do like that this is hard because if we put a bottle of alcohol in here, which could double, it could double for, for a little stove, which I do plan to get him, then this will, you know, it won't let it get squished. So it does have a um it is good in that sense let's see um i'm gonna go through his fire okay let me not put everything over there okay one of these flashlight radio um it is solar powered it can be charged up um through the the regular outlet 
it can charge a phone just like a really quick charge for emergency use um it didn't work that well on my phone but then maybe i didn't do i didn't do it right i was kind of rushing it and didn't let it charge up all the way or anything but i'll have to try it again it has a flashlight hand crank this is really awesome the only thing i don't like about this one is that the power button is way too easy to turn on and it turns on accidentally all the time so i am thinking i'm gonna put a little some little cap here like a water bottle cap and then put some tape over it so it can't get pressed accidentally this is epica i think that's epica or yeah epica anyway this is really cool um okay his fire stuff okay there it is there is a little multi-tool in here lighter under the lighter there's a little pack of matches with cotton balls in there to keep it from rattling there is the bear gorillas um what are these called fire rods and it has instructions with it which are really nice instructions um I actually got one of their knives just to get the another one of these little instruction things. <laughs> okay, in here there is just cotton. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big tea light. This isn't like the little ones. This is a nice big, you know, one inch thick one. And there are some, um, here's Tinder. Some of those, uh, the kind that come with the fuel in them. Well, anyway this kind okay and there is a flashlight in here so fire and light all in my camera <laughs> this is where I used to have my my camera uh, lens cleaning kit but now it's this and this is another thing I'd like to get a fireproof, uh, waterproof bag for. Okay, so we have that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, this, this is just, um, I showed this in another video. I'll open it again. And I need to tape it better because I've opened it and closed it so many times that the tape is no longer secure. Okay. So in here, you can see there is measuring tape, some wire for snare, although I think it's, it's not enough. Um, there is one of these little clips that you could tie cord with. Um, I've used them to make bags. They're really good to have. You could tie a shoelace with them. Um, baggies. There are uh, safety pins. There are needles in here, really nice, long, big, thick needle. That is for like sewing dolls. Um, so it's not gonna break easily. There are two fishing hooks down here under that tape. This is Velcro straps and they are so strong and good. Some thread and this can be used as fishing, although um, we have fishing thread somewhere, fishing line. But this is like coat thread, it's really thick. It could be used in a pinch for that. I have um, some candies, lighter. More baggies, there's a trash bag in here, magnifying lens, which is also another form of fire, and some duct tape. I also have underneath here, there are some sugar packets and a couple tea bags. 
and I'm not sure what else is down there but I, it's so difficult to get it back in if see even opening it like this now it's like a mission to get it back in right okay I'm gonna tape it up differently but for now I'm just putting it down like this okay so there's this um, mylar blanket okay and a poncho and I think I might need to get him uh, an adult size poncho this is a child's is this children's mm, youth poncho this is probably too little for him right now so I need to get him a an adult size one but these ponchos are so nice and they come in this nice little bag and I looked for adult ones like this and they don't have anything nothing I could find anyway they might okay um I have a compass in here and I put it in this this was from another compass that turned out to be crap I might do a review on that later this is his um silver compass right here and I like this little bag though that was the only good thing about that compass the bag and I like it because it has this little strap right here and it could be you know strapped to the outside of the bag to save some room okay um cordage just a bunch of paracord. I had given him some orange one and I don't know what he did with it, so I replaced it with this green one. Um, more cordage, some of this Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Gorilla Tape. Uh, this doesn't belong in here, but I think he put it here because he wants it. It's just measuring tape. Okay. Um, little cheap headlamp I got these for a dollar from Walmart and yeah I got a few of them so and they work they seem to work good I mean it's just a simple LED you can't really go wrong with this it's probably not waterproof but just a simple LED light with small batteries okay um and he has a little Lego toy in there. That was his choice. I told him to put toys in there and that's what he got. Sharpie and a pen. Um, I might need to change these soon. They look really small right now. Um, heat resistant. These are awesome gloves. They're heat resistant and cut resistant. So I have those and they will they're they're somewhat warm not super warm but they'll help a little with that okay um there is uh binoculars in here Let's see just regular binoculars little they don't go too far but I mean better than nothing and he wanted those big huge heavy duty super duper carabiner this could lift like boats super heavy um another thing he wanted on there <laughs> uh, this little thing we mainly have for the can opener although he can open a can he knows how to open a can with a knife but it has a can opener it's not a good one it's the knife is easier than using this little claw thing and it has a little knife in here too and other stuff okay um insect repellent bands and hand warmer one two hand warmers in here have some hand warmers um okay have the SAS, SAS survival guide. I wonder if that, I think this is gonna show backwards. 
since I'm using the side of my camera with the view I might not turn it around <laughs> um, I might try to figure out how to do that but this little book is awesome 